know Father Time. That's twice I call you Father Time. You know Father Judgment. I believe in everything you say. And I agree with you. I would have never let my child out the house like that. Like I said, my daughter would have never went down the stairs like that. But what I was trying to say is this. And like I just spoke to my neighbor. She saw the video and she's like, you know, I agree with you. Because when my niece went to the prom, her straps were not thick enough. So they told her to go get a jacket and put on. Or go buy a sweater. This girl could have put a sweater on, I think. Um, I don't know. I thought this, the skirt part was a little, you know, high. It could have been a little lower, you know. But if she would have covered the top of her body up, I don't think it has been that bad. And that's all I was saying is, like, instead of arguing with a child to tell a child what they can and can't do to get into the prom, the person at the door should have been told her what she's supposed to do to get in the prom. You know what? Turn around, go to Walmart, buy a throw-over shawl, or go get a little jacket, cover the top half of your body up. The short skirt, that's a 50-50. This dress was totally appropriate for a, a magazine, a TV show, a video, but she was going to the prom. She should have had more sense than that. And I was saying, give this child the benefit of the doubt. Tell her to go cover her shit up and let her go to the fucking prom. But no. I'm getting all this flack because now I'm a pedophile because I told a little girl she looked nice in her dress. What are you supposed to tell a little child that already dressed trampish? Oh, you look like a hooker. Everybody else was calling her a hooker. Was I supposed to call her a hooker too? You know me, man. In every one of my videos, I try to uplift somebody. And so what? The dress was definitely inappropriate. I didn't say it was appropriate. I said she covered all this up. I'd have let her in. I didn't say, ooh, wow, you look sexy. Ooh, great, whoa. Come on, man. It is perception. People didn't get past the fact that I told a girl she looks cute in her dress. You're supposed to encourage someone and say, you know what, you look nice today. But that is inappropriate. I didn't use the word inappropriate. I kept on saying, cover it up. Hide it. Cover that shit up. And then I looked at one of the comments. You know she was going to fuck a lot of dudes after the prom. It's like, we teach these girls how to dress up like tramps and sluts. And then when one of them does it, you know, she is one. How you going to pass judgment on this child? How can these people type that she's a trap or a whore on the bottom of the screen? When all one person did was say, you know what? I would have told her to cover it up and go in. By saying that, that opened me up to be all kind of negative things. And it's like I said, man, I'm done with this YouTube thing. This is it. This right here is what did it for me. People are not understanding what I was trying to say. And what I was trying to say pretty much is, if the girl was out of place, put her in her place. Don't argue with a child. Don't tell a kid what a kid can and cannot do when they've already got their mind set on some bullshit, nonsensical things. She thought she was Halle Berry going to the Oscars. She thought she was Jennifer Lopez at the Video Music Awards. She thought she could dress in one of those outfits that she saw on TV. What she saw in a magazine. You know? There's a perception of what a woman is supposed to be. But we have never taught young girls how to be a woman. We haven't. Not us men. We've all taught them how to be objects and whores. So when somebody tells somebody something positive, you know, fine, your dress is fine. Because it would be fine in a fashion magazine. It'd be fine if I was a Nigel Barker photographer. These people who run these fashion houses exploit children just like her. For this child to go someplace thinking that she's looking cute, feeling good about herself, I was wrong for telling her she should have felt good about herself. Then I was wrong. And you know me, man. You know I do these videos. 
out of my heart. I don't write this shit down. I'm not thinking about what I'm going to say before I say it because I'm going to speak from what I see and from how I feel. And yeah, this little girl got lippy. You can see the attitude in her face. You can see that she went bad when somebody told her she couldn't get in because she thought she was looking, hey, I'm looking beautiful for the prom. And inside and outside, she was feeling beautiful. This is not our place to say, you know what, you're a whore. It's our place to say, cover that up, baby. Cover that up, little girl. Cover that up, sweetheart, and gain your respect. Cover that up. But instead, she's a whore, tramp, hooker, prostitute. And I, for saying that all she had to do was be told what she could do, I am now some pedophile. You can call me nigger. Loud mouth, whatever. Don't don't call me a pedophile. That's that's uh, what what did the guy call me? Chester the molester. I have had a fucked up life growing up, and life has not been easy for any child. And as a child, my life wasn't easy, but I'm not going there. These people on the other side of my camera aren't worth me to continue going now. Because they got that one fucking perspective I've been telling people about. That one point of view and that one way to look at things. And that's their way and only their way. These same people who disagree with me right now, if you change the subject, they will disagree with themselves. And yes, in this situation, we're still getting that nigger shit. That black this and that black that. I'm just tired, man. Like I told you, I'm going to go on a mission. And this mission I'm going on, I'm going to go retrieve somebody. I'm going to go look for a close friend of mine. And when I find him, whether he's dead or alive, I'm going to come back. And when I come back, I'm not going to have nothing nice to say about nothing. When I come back, it won't be the AIX that you have now. When I come back, I will be bitter, angry, and fucking pissed off. Because there's no truth in positivity anymore. Negativity is king. The devil has truly won. If you can say something negative and go 500 miles and everybody loves you, you say something positive, you can't go one foot without somebody telling you that you're wrong or that you're something you're not. I hate this camera because it has a light that shines in my eyes. When I look down at the timer, I can't tell how long I have to speak to you. I won't be having this problem no more because I won't be able to speak to you anymore where I'm going. Thank you. I want you to hold down the fort. Because we can only do so much, man. And I know you disagree with me. It's because you heard what everybody else heard. But if you heard what I meant to say... You would agree with me. Like my neighbor said, they told her niece to cover up, put a sweater on, and let her in the prom. How come she wasn't allowed to cover up? Because of her attitude. Her attitude made her not go to the prom. Her lack of, you know, Understanding the policy led her not to go to the prom. She fucked her own prom off. But it shouldn't have been magnified by some adult arguing with her and her ending up in handcuffs. When all she had to do was go down to the nearest Walmart or whatever, buy a sweater or a throw or shawl or whatever they call them things. That's all she had to do. And you said the, the bottom was hanging out. Well, she bought the sweater or whatever. She could have used the rest of that damn rag or towel to cover the bottom half of it. Things could have been done for her to go to the prom.